Hello and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and uh, congratulations, you made it to lesson number two. So statistics are most people watch lesson one or read page one of a book or they go to the, the first lesson or the first uh, session of a workout for the new year and then they quit. So congratulations, you made it past 99% of the people out there. Or maybe not 99, maybe 90, something like that. So this is about uh, computers, simulated computers in the Packet Tracer. In the last lesson, I showed you just kind of going around the menus. And I left off, I left, I think I left off with a couple computers on the screen. I didn't show you how to delete things out of Packet Tracer. Pretty easy thing to do. You just hold down the left mouse button, drag a box over the things you want to delete. Let's say I want to delete these two things. And then I hit delete and it says, uh, are you sure? And we'll say yes. And then I'm going to delete this guy as well. All right. So this particular lesson is about computers, simulated computers. We're going to go down here in the bottom left hand corner. And you can see I click on here and it gives me a bunch of options for computers and devices. We've got things from a desktop computer to a laptop to a server, IP phones, TVs, tablets, all that good stuff. Usually what you're going to be doing is you're going to be dragging in PCs, just a regular desktop computer. Now here it says PC3 and that's just because I've dragged in PCs before inside of this session. So it's going to increment these PCs up, but usually it's going to be starting at PC0. Don't worry if that, uh, if that name doesn't uh, make sense to you because we could always change it later. In fact, we're going to do it in about 10 seconds. So really easy to drag in PCs. And as you can see, they are all incrementing up PC three, four, five, and six. As you hover over each device, you can see it gives you some information. You don't have an IP address set just yet, but we do have a Mac address and that Mac address is different depending on which PC I put my cursor over. We'll talk about MAC addresses in a future video. Okay, so we got PCs in there. What can we do with these PCs? Well, I can uh, click on them. And after you click on them, you'll be given a, a window and it's got four tabs there. Really, you only have to worry about the first three tabs because this software and services, I usually don't mess with this in any of my lessons. So first tab physical, we're looking at the front of the computer. Let's actually zoom out a little bit. So you can see up here, we've got a CD or DVD drive. We've got some type of archaic device here. I think it's called a disk, disk drive, floppy drive or something like that. Uh, God help you if you're still using one, but uh, you know, they were quite popular about 15 years ago. All right, go down here and you can see in the front of this computer, we've got an ethernet port. Plug in your ethernet cable. This is gonna be fast ethernet. Pretty typical of computers today. Actually today, this would kind of be a little slow. Most computers are shipping with a gigabit ethernet port. So it can do 1000 megabytes a second. So these ports are usually built into the motherboard. If you're buying a desktop computer, uh, some people opt for an external card. On laptops, they're built into the side of the laptop. Now, what's interesting is these days you're seeing laptops that uh, have no Ethernet port at all. They're just completely wireless, which is uh, pretty interesting. All right, go to over to that second tab. It's called Config. And notice this PC3 is the same as the PC3 on my workspace there. I can change that. I could call this, uh, let's call this Computer 1. And we could give it an IP address, gateway, all this good stuff. Now in Packet Tracer, we have multiple ways of configuring things. So as you can see here, I could put in that information or I could go over here to this desktop tab and then I could click on IP configuration there and it's the same thing. I can configure the same information or most of the same information. So what is this desktop tab? This is simulating sort of like a well, a desktop of a computer. So let's say a Windows computer and got all these things on your desktop. So text editor, I could type in a bunch of crapola there, discard it. I could run a web browser. 
could run a command prompt. This is actually 90% of the time, this is what you're going to be using inside the simulated computer of Packet Tracer. If I do a question mark, you'll see that I've got some things like ARP and ping and telnet and tracer, trace route. And this is uh, should be familiar to you because this is simulating what you would see in Windows. In fact, if I go to my start menu and type in CMD in Windows, I get the same, well, kind of the same thing. I do have ping. I do have ARP. Telnet, well, actually at Windows 7, there is no Telnet. You have to add it. And then Traceroute, we've got that as well. So it should be somewhat familiar to you. If this is the first time you have seen a command prompt in Windows or something looking like a command prompt, no worries. We're going to spend lots of time in this in a future lesson. All right, so that's a computer. We can connect these computers together by clicking on this connections and then to connect two computers together with nothing in between. So a straight shot from computer one to PC four right there. We're going to be using what's called a straight through cable. Actually, we're going to be scratch that. I'll be using a crossover cable, crossover cable. And as you can see, as you click on the computer, it's going to ask RS-232. Don't worry about that, but fast ethernet and as you can see, wherever I move my cursor, a dotted line follows. I'm going to click on this PC, click on Fast Ethernet, and now you can see both ends are connected. As I move either end around, that line follows. So it's just like I dragged a physical cable from one computer to the other. Links are green, which means if I actually were to look at a real computer with a cable connected, the light would be on. So the light would be on and flashing and I would know that the electrical signal is passing from one side to the other. So at least I have a physical connection. Now there may be other things like IP addresses and stuff like that, VLANs, that will actually give me the real connection. But as far as physical, the electrical signals are concerned, I'm getting from one side to the other. All right, so that was a quick and dirty view of what you could do with computers inside of Packet Tracer. In the next video, we'll stay with these two computers, so don't delete your topology. You may want to save it. So go up here to File and Save As, and you call it something interesting. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.